Hi class, this is Susan. Welcome to week three. Um, I want to give you um, an explanation of your um, blog analysis assignment. It has a lot of moving parts, as you can see on the screen. So I want to go through this. And first, um, we need to discuss like how to find the right kind of blog. What is a blog now? Um, this can be a little confusing. Um, before I get into that, very quickly, I do want to mention that if you have a one in the grade book, that is not a grade. I would never give anybody a one. Um, that's ridiculous. Um, a one is a message, and the message is, please go read what I wrote in the grade book because because you'll know why um, I haven't given you your grade yet. Either I want you to email me to clarify something, I want you to redo something, um, or revise something, and so please do not panic. Okay. Now, when it comes to um, understanding what a blog is versus a website, it's it's pretty tricky now. Uh, I will admit that um, because a lot of uh, blogs have become um, successful, and as they've grown, they've dropped out um, a key feature of blogging that really does um, matter, and that is the the commenting. So if you're on a site and you're not sure if it's a blog or not. The, one of the easiest ways that you can tell is if you click through to one of the articles, okay, you will see um, at the bottom, the person will say, you know, leave me a comment or comment below. That is, that is, that inviting that interaction is a facet of social media, right? It's that two-way conversation. So in order for a blog to really be a blog, it needs to have that. Okay. Now, some blogs have now what they're some bloggers what they're doing is they're having you know share or comment or something on social media. That's not the same thing. Okay. So what I want you to find are blogs that um, really fit that strict definition that it is social media. Social media is about having a conversation. The blogger is inviting engagement. Okay. Now there are many blogs that are popular and successful that. Um, are, are big and they have a lot of staff and they have a lot of people who write for them. So these are blogs, okay, but we want to um, stay away from these because you're not going to be doing that kind of blog. I want you to find two um, blogs that are really like single bloggers or maybe a duo, you know, two bloggers, but that they're really people like you, right, who are have some kind of expertise and you know they're coming in and creating this this space okay so when you go to look at some examples um and, and let me just show you what i mean here by looking at some examples all right so to find a blog to analyze you can start this is a good little starting spot detailed.com they'll give you the 10 different um they'll give you the 10 not the 10 sorry they have 10 areas that they'll give you the top 50 blogs in. So these are the areas. So business marketing, fitness, food, photography. So this is a good good place to start. And um, let me just show you what I mean by some of the blogs that look more like publications. Like if we look at Business Insider, they no longer have commenting um, on the bottom of their, um, their articles. Um, there's multiple bloggers. This is really almost more like um, an online magazine now, but it is still classified as a blog. Um, but it's actually, um, it doesn't really fit my definition of really what a blog is going to be about. So even something like TechCrunch and L, these are going to have a lot of different people writing for them. Um, you know, to, um, TechCrunch allows you to leave comments in the, in the different articles, but there's so many different people writing for them. Again, it's almost more like an online magazine now. Okay. Um, so, what you, you, so what we want to focus on, sorry, I forgot how to speak. Let's go back to, um, let's look in travel because travel is a good area. All right. So the Lonely Planet. So again, like, um, well, something like um, adventure.com, like there, this, they're going to have um, a dozen travel writers. Um, so even though this is a good blog, I don't want you to use something like this for the assignment because it, it's not quite reflect, reflecting of what you're going to be doing, right? So if we're looking for like Nomadic Matt, Nomadic Matt is a single blogger um, and he's got, he's got a lot of content uh, and 
he has a separate blogging area. So he just started as strictly a blogger. So he is somebody who would be good to analyze as a top blogger, see how he's monetizing. Uh, let's see who else would be good for you. Um, let's go back and let's look at another area. Let's look in cooking because I love um, cooking blogs. I like reading them, um, although I don't necessarily like cooking. <laughs> I think, oh, here's one of my favorite blogs for cooking. It, this is the Smitten Kitchen. So a lot of these are going to work. So the Smitten Kitchen, again, it's a single blogger. Um, how do you know? Um, how do you know is that you um, you go to the about and you'll see that this is a woman. Um, I think her name is Deb. Yeah. And she's got her blog set up and you can leave comments and she, re oh, look how good that looks. My gosh. Um, and she has, um, you can always leave comments and see how many she gets. There's a lot. And she actually interacts with her, her followers. So she's a very good example of a good blogger. So, um, so stay away from the ones that are more like magazines where you can't actually tell who the main person is. Okay. So look for the comments like this at the bottom of the blog. Um, because again, social media conversation. And then if you're not still not sure, go and look at the about me. Okay. Now it could be a blog that has, um, you know, like this one, it's, she's got different categories of information, but it's still a blog. Okay. And again, if you have any doubts or any um, uncertainty about whether or not you're making a good choice, just email me because if you don't pick the right kind of blog, you're not really going to get, um, you know, the, the purpose of this assignment is to really start to show you how blo like bloggers do it, you know, what makes them successful. And so we want to look at single bloggers because, you know, they're reflective of what we're doing, which is trying to fulfill a niche in the long tail. Okay, so if you have any questions about that, please let me know. Um, make sure when you're doing the assignment that you are answering each question for each blog and make sure you're using your sources. Um, there's not that many in this, in this week, but I want you to be referring to them. Um, and then I want you to start thinking about, okay, what is my topic? What is my niche going to be? Now, if you don't, if you're starting this assignment and you don't know exactly what it is you're going to blog about, pick a blog, like, let's say you're interested in hockey, pick a hockey blog, but you're also interested in horses, then pick a horse blog. It's fine. It doesn't actually, you know, even if you don't know what you're going to be writing about yet, looking at a successful single blogger, okay, will just be beneficial to you no matter what the topic is. Okay. So make sure you answer each part. I just want you to briefly summarize. Oh, well, what did I find when I went at looking for top blogs in my category? Did I find a lot of single bloggers? Did I find a lot of, you know, bigger ones that, you know, aren't going to be as helpful to me right now? Um, you know, and don't be discouraged either way. It might be a long one, uh, a long list of blogs and you might think, Oh, well, you know, there's already enough blogs, but again, that's where your nicheification comes in. You know, how are you going to put your own unique spin and hook on it? Okay. Now, and then you'll answer those questions and these questions and that's it. So the key to doing a really good job on this assignment is to pick two really good blogs to analyze. Okay. And if you, again, if you have any questions, just reach out and let me know. And I'm um, looking forward to seeing the topics that you guys are going to be picking.